I'm a paranormal investigator, but I'm also a sensitive. A sensitive is somebody that can pick up frequencies or changes in the environment. Some of these changes tend to be what we call conscious energy, such as spirits and ghosts. Why are you doing this to Neil? Can you speak to us so we can hear you? All right, there's someone standing behind me now. There's two people, there's a male and female here now. I can't feel my left hand. Okay, we're getting a lot of activity here. Um, all right, I'm getting big chills now. Oh! His father left him before he was born, his mother died when he was a teenager, and his stepfather rejected him. Left to fend for himself in the Wild West, Billy did what he had to do to keep alive. He turned to a life of crime. The legend of James Dean lives on 50 years later, but is his spirit still around? You don't get a chance to talk to people like this, do you? No. It's, see, it's like using a Ouija board, but no one can push it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're not asking for it, right. it's yes or no. You wrote a book here called Dizzy and Jimmy. Yes, I did. With a life with James Dean, so obviously you got closer to him than most people would. What was he like as a man? I, I never knew him as a man. I knew him as a boy trying to be a man. Orbs over here, major, bring, no, get that light out of here, get this out of here. Follow me, infrared, only. God, go! Oh, I swear to God, something just pushed my hand on the, the, that was cool. A ghost is a spirit that has left the physical body, but has not necessarily moved on to the other side. It's trapped here. Oh man. Heavy anger. Mean, mean. I'm gonna put the spirit box on. Yeah, let's get it. And see if we get any voices. Okay. Now we're gonna be able to we're gonna try and hear spirit speaking to us in real time. Absolutely. You can speak through this device. Hello, did you hear that? They go in and out of the house, like a highway. So wh when they appear to you or when they try to confront you or ask you questions, so you're not confident enough to communicate with these spirits, are you? Yeah. Why? It's just, I don't know how to help them. Because right. how am I supposed to help someone that nobody else sees? <laughs> Maybe that's your gift. Maybe you were meant to assist them and help them. Because nobody else in the household is. Yeah. So maybe it's up to you. He would be like, a murderous stare? He'd have a stare, and they'd have a sinister smile. Our previous investigation presented us with a wide range of possible paranormal activity. It was a night that neither of us is likely to forget. He hangs around here because he's afraid to leave the place. Mm -hmm. He died here. Mm -hmm. And he's afraid to go to the other side because he's afraid he's gonna be punished. He killed somebody. I felt like I was seeing something I'm not supposed to see. Oh man, um, I'm just getting total like uh, hatchet going down. I got this flash of this long knife or hatchet cutting off flesh. You're really bothered by that, aren't you? No. <laughs> you are. I just heard something, which we're gonna wanna mark this, okay? And Chris Fleming, an award-winning medium appearing on numerous television shows and a paranormal conference lecturer. Each team investigating in zone one, which is in the Grand Hotel, are gonna have 30 minutes investigating alongside Chris Fleming. It's absolutely amazing to see him work with the spirit box. Chris can really draw them in. How you doing? Hi there. How are you? Good. Hector, Chris Fleming. Nice to meet you. The one thing to keep in mind, guys, is whenever you do a spirit box session, you want to keep an open mind, but you also want to be conscious of any radio frequencies that come through to make sure there's no contamination. The other so you guys heard a response. It said something which we weren't able to make out, but yet then we had a physical reaction to that of a bang. Mm -hmm. Take me to where you guys heard it. Now, as a medium sensitive, I just have to ask this. Do you guys feel any difference at all in the air or in this hallway from when we first came here? If so, explain. What was that? <laughs> what the f was that? Was that something sh moving? Hold on. We just heard a big rattle again that brought us back into this room. 
My question is, is it just a play with the shadows and a little bit of what they call maybe some matrixing? But it does have what looks like a torso, so I gotta give you credit for that. Now what about SAG apps? Jim would take the history and implement it into the questions. That's he would call do. those people Absolutely. out, which was excellent. No so history. I was impressed. Why not? People tell me just to like ignore it and it won't bother you. But you can't ignore something that you sense is there. And you've got to get over that fear. It can be worked on. I have faith in you, okay? Mm -hmm. What I'd like to do is give them an opportunity to use their abilities in a way where they're going to get to see what they can accomplish. Did you hear that? Feels like we are being watched. Question two. Bring it to 62. I know you can do this. 64.1. Yep. 62, bring 63. it to 62. 63.9, 63. 63.7. To my amazement, it started going down. Bring it to 62. 62.3, 62.1. Make it drop down to 62. 62. Oh, kick okay. ass. <laughs> to 62. No matter what experience you have happen in your life with these things, it's just, you want more. You want more. Yeah. There's two different spirits that said that. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. And the other voice says, you got it. Confirming what it just said. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> give me, give me some. <laughs> oh, God, it's crazy. Colt, why are you getting uncomfortable while he's talking about this? He keeps on saying no after he's already seen that. No, I didn't say no after. Not no, but you're still even doubting, like you're saying. Yeah. You're being skeptical about it. Meryl, what is it going to take you? Because this is sounding just like I went through with my father. I didn't say that I didn't believe what you're seeing, did I? No, you didn't say that, but it seems like even when you're there, you're saying, even if all this is going on, which means like you don't believe it. No. You want to take it to that extreme no. that I don't believe it. No, Dad. Let me share something with you, both of you. I had to go through this alone, OK? My dad ignored it, every excuse possible. And there was times, there was things that were so terrifying. So terrifying. I had to deal with it on my own. And I would hate to see for any of them to go through this. But I want to plead with you. Okay, please. It's okay if you don't know. Stop making excuses because this stuff does exist. We don't have to understand it, but he needs you to accept him for who he is. And by believing, you will give support to him. You're all alone. You're scared. But then when you begin to realize that there's other people out there that have gone through what you went through as a kid, it's like, I can do something about that.